Who here watches the currency market? You in the suit, what is the strongest currency in the world right now? United States dollar, really. That's number two. Relationships are the strongest currency in the world. If you value your bank account more than you value people, you are not a leader. If you nickel and dime people, you can bet your last nickel and dime they will not follow you because people don't follow clowns. This is my grandfather, Rulin Allred, really wanted to go back to the purity, the basics of the doctrine. He, uh, he was a brilliant man. You have to be to convince 7,000 people to give you all their money and seven women to marry you. You're very charismatic, obviously. He was assassinated four years before I was born by the wife of a rival leader who wanted his money. Pinesdale was a great place in many ways to grow up. I had over 400 first cousins. <laughs> totally normal to me. I don't know what you guys are talking about. At the age of five, it was impressed upon me by my Sunday school teacher that God had made me deaf as a form of punishment. And because people love my parents, they were a threat to all the men in power. And people who want power just want more power. They were not leaders by any means. They just wanted power. We then moved to Utah. Now, I hated Utah. This is 1988. All red name is still very fresh. I was in first grade, and I was one of the biggest kids in the school. Big, giant hearing aids, and I talked funny. And on top of all that, I was a polygamist. And if there's one thing a Mormon hates, it's a polygamist Mormon. And so people often say, hey, Lance is hearing your parrot? I can't hear it in his voice. It doesn't make any sense. There you go. Yeah, I was goalie for... I'm 11 years old. Now we'll pass can basketball and stuff, and I got a floor burn right here. Wow. And I, was scared. Man. I opened up my present, and that actually all we did when we went to the Nintendo game. And <laughs> we went to Microsoft Pet so but nothing. I've watched this over a hundred times. I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> when I got fitted for digital when I was a teenager, I finally started to hear the diction in the front of the mouth. Because deaf people, they, they kind of talk like this without, without much diction. You know? They do that because we feel the reverberation in our skulls. We feel like we're actually making a sound. I have had a lot of like, people over in Europe especially be like, uh, your accent is funny, no? I'm like, uh, yeah, maybe. He goes, where is it from? I'm like, uh, close to the Montana Canadian border in a little town called Speech Therapy. <laughs> of course, they don't get the joke. 